take care of yourself is what someone sent to me. Sounds like sound advice. But grandma always used to say, consider the source when you hear things. Mm. So you always force me to do things I don't want to do. Psychology says that manipulators use that particular phrase, you always. Well, then the old me in the old way would have said, well, why didn't you just tell me no? Because of your attitude. Well, everyone has an attitude, good, bad, and all points in between, but that would be something for me to have to deal with. So, manipulation, gaslight, and then guilt trip behind it. Glad the old me dead. Got too many cuts on these arms from dealing with it that way. Mm. Responding to subliminal suggestives and or third party fake accounts. Eh, Got to thank Grandma Lorraine for that, too, because you let it roll off like water on the duck's back. So if it's not direct. I have to just be the other side of that. That no one hears. I guess that's how we deal with that. Um, but I am concerned about the person or persons who use that kind of tact. No words for it, though. I have to maintain a certain amount of self-mastery. Other people call control. Well, control, it's an illusion. It is. It's an illusion. So I'm going to have to take solace in the fact that I'm the other half of that story that does not get told. Listen, you all out there take care of yourselves when it comes to direct, indirect, psychological, mental, emotional attack. Don't be like the old me and cut on yourself as penance. We're not in Japan, right? Because the Yakuza would, when they dishonored themselves or they dishonored the family, they'd, in a ceremony, they'd cut off a finger. Well, we're not in Japan and we're not Yakuza. We have to find another way to deal with it. So if you find yourself under this kind of attack, don't resort to cutting yourself. Please don't do that. Find another way. <laughs>